Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Lankan in London. Uh, honestly, I didn't upload any sort of videos in quite a while. But, and this video actually is like a quick one and just bits of heads up about PSW visa application process where I personally come across some sort of difficulties when I applied myself. And first one is this PSW process is a straightforward process. You don't need to see a solicitor or any sort of expert unless you got some sort of difficulties in your application process or any personal based scenarios. And the second point is you need a couple of things like Android or any sort of smartphones, not any sort of actually, it could be like if you got Android phones and should be Android 6 version and above and you should get NFC on it. And if it is the Apple phones, it'd be like Apple 7 Plus. Oh, but I'm not really sure about that now, uh, that feature. So I'm gonna put my that link for that so you could get through that once and get some deep idea about that. Uh, and third point is difficulties on general difficulties you might come across in your application process um i'm first i'm not a expert or any professional backgrounds who could consult you what i'm saying right now it's based on my personal experiences the first one is when i applied for my bsw which means graduate work visa uh, i got apple form and uh, I did the basic things, basic steps, setting up account and uploading some sort of small and basic details. And after that, there's a process you need to up, uh, scan and get some pictures of our present BRP card, which means your if you are a student, it's from BRP card. If you're a partner, it's from dependent and her is BRP card. And that case, um, UK Home Office introduced one app called UK Immigration ID Check and if you got Android or uh, Apple you could download that app and you should get embedded with that all the features if it is not you can't use the app as well so what I did I got uh, Apple one so I download the UK Immigration ID Check app so I did first get my front and back pictures after that there's a step it's called like scanning your brp chip it's like small tiny one inside your brp car and you can't see actually so what i just try to do uh, is try to scan that brp cards moving uh my brp car underneath underneath no sorry underneath, put my brp car underneath your my phones and moving like that like that actually so it sends my card chip is not accessing so it's can't find some sort of pop-up random weird messages and uh literally i got two or three atoms after that it got like a frozen for 24 hours which means i can't use that my brp card to scan uh, my app to scan my brp card until 24 hours i was like two or three days prior to my visa expire so I was like overwhelming. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see any solicitor um, uh, to see a sort of expert's knowledge. So I was like, being in the weekend or some of the holidays or bank holiday or something like that, or probably I know that I can't get an appointment to see some center to give some my, my biometrics details. Uh, it was so annoying and so overwhelming. I'm not really sure you got panic and you might go over oh, staying in here or you were hard works um investments about money and all things gonna be just damn screwed um but i called one of my mates and who's stay, staying here and he said if he got uh, android ones and that's super straightforward and if you're using apple phones it, it, what he said it's got to be really tough process i'm not really sure what's the technical issues ba uh, based on this fact that once you're scanning your brp card uh, apparently, well, uh, yesterday morning, to next day morning, I went to see my friends and he scanned that once my BRP cars pretty straight away, like uh, super fast and super cool, just done and dusted. 
uh, and this is after that's normal steps and it's, it's, which is really it's easy and straightforward but you need to be more concentrate about that so you should know what you're doing so if you're not really sure you could uh, search yourself in online and all stuff you did dozens of YouTube videos about that um, but my recommendation is just try to stick to your Android phones if you don't have Android phone it's, it's all right in home office in this case you could use your mains or working colleagues your flatmates uh, mobile phone as well if you really want if your phone is not working uh, that's from the plus point but I'm not sure in the next year or right now might they the company might sort it out their technical issues the Android users one but one unapplied once, once I applied I think it's the last one or before that actually so that was the problem but as precautions you could use Android's one so I did like after I did like a sort of search based on my friends who got PSW like Android users and Apple users but mostly our Android users got much more comfortable process once they are playing the PSW compared with the Apple users so what I recommend you to use the Android phones which got NFC on it and if your phone is not NFC on it technically you can't download the app by using the Apple store so if you got NFC you could download that one it's technically straightforward and um, hopefully I'm gonna do some videos about uh, IHS surcharge issues once you got uh, and you are planning for the PSW with your partners and stuff some I know some people got like a zero IHS surcharge um, sort of things um, anyway and um, thanks for watching my videos mm, take care bye